This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 16th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather's still looking nice, quiet, calm for a while. Pretty amazing for this time of the year. Now we'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Who would be awake at that hour? That's a look at uh, the Walmart in Trustful. And you know, a week from today, it's Black Friday. It's always fun watching these uh, cameras at the big box retailers. Be nice when you're getting those parking places. Now, there's a look at downtown Fayette and downtown Clanton in Chilton County. Actually, there's a little wave coming in from the west, as you can see, but like the last few that have passed through, the air very dry, so certainly no rain. Maybe a few high clouds, nothing beyond that. These temperatures were captured early this morning at 5 o'clock. We had some folks around the freezing mark, most everybody in the 30s. Birmingham was at 36 and around the nation. There's that cold continental air. And, you know, this is the core of the tornado season. And looking at a map like that, the, the watch warning map, it's remarkable. We just don't have any problems anywhere in the nation. That All the counties you see highlighted in Montana, that is a, a child abduction emergency, an amber alert up there. And uh, really, uh, you got some snow issues for the Sierra Nevadas and California and freezing issues around here, and that's about it. Rain for the next five days. The big numbers are going to be back in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this is valid through Tuesday evening, and I think we'll be dry next week. Just a very slight chance of a shower, maybe Tuesday, but that chance is tiny. We'll check the GFS. This is the 06E run, valid at noon today. And you can see there is some energy coming in here, but no moisture means no rain. In fact, uh, the sky should be mostly sunny today with a high in the low 60s. And that's the formula for the weekend. There's Saturday and there's Sunday. Highs in the... Low to mid 60s, morning lows mostly in the probably mid to upper 30s. Mornings will be pretty cold. And the same thing on Monday of next week as we stay dry. Uh, the GFS is showing 65. There's Tuesday of next week, and again, you can see some energy coming in from the west, but it's the same story. There's just no moisture. I like the deal today. So uh, Tuesday looks partly sunny. Chance of rain so small, don't think it's worth mentioning in the forecast. We stay in the 60s, and there's Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve, the biggest travel day of the year. And it's just quiet over much of the nation. Uh, the, the big issues are back in the Pacific Northwest where Seattle and Portland will see rain or snow, maybe some interior snows up there, but uh, for most folks, nice and quiet. Thanksgiving Day here in Alabama should be beautiful, sunny with a high in the middle 60s, exactly where we should be for this time of the year. And a week from today, Black Friday, Sunny and comfortable. Again, highs will stay in the 60s. There's Saturday the 24th. Moisture comes back to the west, but we stay dry. And Sunday the, the 25th still looks dry. So, by golly, if this run is right, we could be dry uh, for the next, what, eight, nine days. But look at the 27th. This is uh, Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Holy moly, look at the trough there. And uh, that would suggest a big old batch of rain and storms, and we turn big-time cold after that. And that's even suggesting the rain might taper off to snow flurries on the backside of that feature. Goodness. And then on the uh, 1st of December, we've still got a mean trough axis around. And look at that. Very cold air over the north, rain to the south, a 1,035 millibar high sitting over Lake Texoma. So... Uh, looks like the weather might get more interesting out there as we approach the 1st of December. That's it for the Weather Extreme video. Today we'll have notes on the blog, and don't forget to catch us on television this evening if you can. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.